For 24 episodes, we've taken you behind the scenes in one of the biggest infrastructure projects in Europe. We've shown you the sights, the sounds, and met the people behind this extraordinary feat of engineering to clean up one of the world's greatest rivers. The Thames Tideway Tunnel, London's super sewer, is now fully connected, promising a healthier, greener future for the Thames. Spring is in the air here in Acton, and just south of this park lies the westernmost entry point of the Thames Tideway Tunnel. The sewage that enters here begins the longest journey of all. Travelling underneath the heart of London via this engineering marvel, it winds eastward to unite with other flows before reaching its final destination at Beckton Sewage Treatment Works. Everything we flush down our toilets in London embarks on this journey and will do so for the next 100 years and beyond. However, our super sewer journey is coming to an end. My name is James Carew and for the very last time, this is Tunnel Vision. After 10 years of construction, the last of 21 connections has been made between the original Victorian sewers and the new Thames Tideway Tunnel, bringing the entire system online to protect the tidal Thames from sewage pollution. Here at Putney Embankment, as at the other key intersection points along the system, the tunnel will prevent 95% of sewage spills that would otherwise overflow directly into the river. It's lovely to sit here and relax on these newly opened public spaces created along the river as part of the project. Over 25,000 people have worked largely unseen beneath London to construct the new system. What did it involve? 25 kilometres of tunnel, the width of three London buses. It took six giant tunnel boring machines to dig out the tunnel, weighing up to 1,200 tonnes each. We dug out 21 giant shafts to both lower equipment and divert sewage flows to the new tunnel. At Acton, in West London, where I started my journey, the depth of the tunnel is 31 metres, dropping to 66 metres at Abbey Mills Pumping Station in East London, where it joins the Lee Tunnel. Together, the London Tideway Tunnel has a storage capacity of 1.6 million cubic metres, or around 600 Olympic-sized swimming pools. We also moved almost 6 million tonnes of material by river, much of which was used to create new wetlands for wildlife. We delivered wider social impacts too, engaging close to 100,000 young people via STEM and supporting almost 50,000 people and over 500 organisations through community volunteering and funding. This was me back in September 2019 at our Carmel Road site, a little less grey, filming our river campaign video to showcase the vital role barges play in transporting spoil along the river. And here I am back at Carmel Road, another of the spaces open to the public on the project. Through our regular updates and Tunnel Vision YouTube series, we've been bringing you closer to the two dozen construction sites across the project, to the amazing engineering, and to meet the people dedicated to cleaning up the River Thames. From building cofferdams to lowering giant tunnelling machines below ground, to musical performances, artwork, and reconnecting Londoners, young and old, to their river, it's been our great pleasure to tell you the Tideway story. We're back where it all began, overlooking our Blackfriars Bridge site, which we saw in episode one. This will be the largest public space we'll leave behind, and which has already had the Royal Seal of Approval. Over the course of the Tideway project, sewage in rivers has become a major topic. Now that the super sewer's up and running, let's find out what Londoners think. The super sewer? Yeah. Is it something to do with the fatbergs? The super Oh, the super sewer. Yeah, 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 I have. I'm still waking up, but I haven't had coffee yet. <laughs> it's a big sewer that's taking, replacing a lot of the old sewers. Is it an upgrade of like our Victorian sewer system or something like that? It's bigger capacity, deep down under the London River, yeah. just to cope with, you know, I won't say what it is because you'll bleed me out otherwise. <laughs> it's going to prevent it from tipping into yes. the river. It'll go into this tunnel instead. Great. Sewage. Fantastic. That sewage sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They've gone the whole way down the river, right? All the way out. It's, it's pretty spectacular to be, what, 60 metres down, 70 metres down, building this huge, massive tunnel. Yes, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. Exactly what we need, isn't it? 
hopefully improve the wildlife in the, the river as well. Yeah. And they're doing a nice development along the river there, which looks good too. It looks really good with the, the trees that are going in. Yeah, a little sunny lunchtime, open area, perfect. Brilliant, and the king was there last week. Oh, really? It was. I missed him. Two quick questions. Are you sure? Oh. I'll make you famous. You've got two seconds to answer. Okay, another one late for a meeting. We've loved every minute of bringing you Tunnel Vision. To look back at some of the highlights, I'm going to meet some of my colleagues who you've encountered before. So, Kieran, Priya, Taylor, we're almost at the end. Kieran, how long have you been on the project and what's been your highlight? I've been on the project three years and my highlight would definitely have to be Lew Gardens. It was an incredible moment for me. Never in a million years did I ever think I'd be able to take part in something like that. And it sounds unbelievable that we put, you know, a garden deep on the ground in a sewer tunnel. And I tell people to this day they don't believe me. So it's really good to be a part of that. And Priya? I've been on the project for eight years now and my highlight has been just seeing everybody through different stages of the project just coming together and working as one team to achieve all of the things that we've achieved up to this point. During the pandemic was a very, very difficult time for everyone, but the spirit of the whole team supporting each other has been a massive highlight for me. And Taylor, what's been your highlight? Well, I've been on the project eight years. I have a lot of highlights, but I guess my highlight is quite a silly one. It's, it's basically the tunnel itself and being inside the tunnel. We've done lots of media visits in the tunnel. I got to cycle in the tunnel. It's just an amazing space. It's eerie, it's alien, and being able to take media down there and guests down there and other visitors has just been fantastic. Kieran, can you remember the episodes you presented, where you went? Yeah, I remember my most recent one. Uh, it was in Victoria Embankment or around the area, and it was all about how the super sewer works. And it was um, great to be a part of a piece of content that explains how this massive piece of infrastructure works in a way that is really easy to understand. It's a video I can send to my nan, and she can watch it and hopefully you know, get a bit of an understanding of the impact of what we're doing. I think that video is the one with the most views. It is, yeah, it is. And we did have a comment say you had a twinkle in your eye. I know, I know. Was that your nan? Yeah, probably, probably, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Priya, your episodes, mom was around here because you're from around here. Yeah, I was born in Greenwich Hospital. I went into the tunnel and that was the first time that I'd been in the tunnel, which is very exciting for me. Also, it's the Creekside Discovery Centre and met some of the people there and how they're you know, creating an area for the local community to be able to enjoy and learn things about the river and the environment. And I did an episode on International Women's Day as well, which was great, just celebrating all of the amazing women that work in engineering. Taylor, you've presented a few. We've done 25 now. It's hard to believe when we started out. It was a challenge during the pandemic. I know one of the episodes was in your living room. Yeah, I'd forgotten about that one and I remember going out with my phone around Greenwich Park and just taking videos of myself. I don't know if any of that made the cut, but that was good. But yeah, I did the first one, yeah. which was really cool in 2020. I did one on a boat. Yeah. I remember doing about 50 takes of the intro, which was shouting ahoy down the lens, <laughs> which there's a good uh, blooper reel of that. Ahoy there, welcome to Tunnel Vision. Ahoy there. <laughs> one of London, this side. Hello, Tideway's latest e Hello. <laughs> what do you think? You're cringing. 25 episodes and hopefully we brought the project and this kind of the industry in an accessible way to people and yeah, I hope people uh, enjoyed it. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. We hope you've enjoyed learning about everything that goes into delivering this huge environmental project to clean up the Thames. For the benefit of the people who live here, visitors to this great city and its wildlife. We also couldn't have done it without the help of so many people over the years who've given us access, spoken on camera and shown why they're so passionate about working on this vital infrastructure project building a tunnel that's deeper than most in London.
the end of the project, but it's the beginning of the rejuvenation of the river. We're excited to see how the Thames changes and thrives now that we're tackling sewage spills. What this means for the thousands of species, old and new, that call it home, and the people who enjoy using the water for sport and recreation, or just enjoy walking beside it. On the Tideway website, we're also tracking how much sewage is being intercepted by the new system and will no longer discharge into the river, which you can keep up to date with. So that's it, the last ever episode of Tunnel Vision. It's fitting that we're in Greenwich because our time together is drawing to a close. Thank you so much for watching and interacting with each episode. You can watch all of our videos on the Tideway YouTube channel. The Super Sewer story may be coming to an end. Now it's over to you, London. The next chapter will be written by its mighty river.